Hello friends, welcome to the second session of induction of MA education program. In this session, we will be discussing courses under MA education program. In the first session already, we have discussed uh, the very structure and objectives of MA education program. The brief program structure that uh, what are the courses uh, of 34 credits that you have to study in the first year and what are the different courses of 34 credits that you have to study in the second year. Here uh, in this session, we will be discussing the very concept, the very knowledge base uh, that are included uh, in different courses. As you know, uh, the entire two years MA education program that has been designed in four different groups. I have already discussed in the past session. Group A is basic course in education. Group B is on core courses that is different prospective courses. Group C is courses on knowledge generation in education and group D is specialized areas in education. If I will go through broadly, these are the certain courses that you have to study in the first year. You see here total credit is 34. That comprises you have to study here six different courses. MES 011 understanding education, this is a four credit course. MES 012 education nature and purpose, which is included in, uh, in group B, that is core courses. This is a six credit course. Then MES 013, that is learning learner and development is also a six credit course. MES 014 societal context of education is also a six credit course. MES 015 Operational Dimensions of Education is also a 6 credit course and MES 016 that is Educational Research is also a 6 credit course and if I will include all these courses that is 34. So friends be sure that uh, you have to study these 6 different courses in the first year of your program. And in second year as I have already said that we have 5 different in this program 5 different specialized areas are there that is a higher education, distance education, educational management, educational technology and adult education. What you have to do among these five different areas, you have to select any one area. The learners have to select any one area among the five areas and have to study all the courses in that area. Total credit in each area is 24. Okay? So, one area 24 credit you have to cover and at the same time one compulsory course is there practical course, project course, dissertation course that is MESP001 dissertation course. So, 10 credits you have to study uh, uh, from this dissertation course. So, 10 plus 24 is 34. So, accordingly in the second year 34 credits you have to study. Now, let me to very briefly focus upon the very concept that are being addressed uh, in different courses. If I will focus upon MES011 that is understanding education as I have already said that uh, this is a four credit compulsory course. This is included in group A of the program design and this is studied in the first year and this course has been designed in four blocks with 13 units. Okay? So, what are the different blocks and what concept it address? Uh, let me to uh, very briefly focus upon. The course title is understanding education as I have already said that this is a four credit course and this is a type of bridge course. The learners who have not studied education as a discipline in their graduation level, in their undergraduate level. So, this course will help them a lot particularly to understand the very concept of education, nature of education and further the knowledge base, the concept that they will acquire from this course will help them to understand uh, different prospective courses, different core courses as well as knowledge generation courses and also this courses under specialized area that are included in different other groups. And uh, if I will go through uh, the concept that are being addressed in different blocks of this course, uh, in this course you will find four different blocks are there. Uh, block 1, uh, the title is what is education? You will find four units in this block. Block 2 is education, its basis. What are the different bases of education? Philosophical bases, psychological bases and other bases also. You will find four units in this uh, block. Then block 3 that is an education and socio-political supra system. You will find three units in this block. Then accordingly in block 4, the title is education and overview. Two units are there. So, friends, this course total 13 units are there in this course. This course will help you the basic concept of education. Okay? Just like 
to understand education from sociological perspective, to understand education from a societal practices uh, perspective, to understand education from uh, a community perspectives, to understand education from uh, uh, you know uh, teaching learning practices that we do uh, in the school from that perspective. Okay, and at the same time, this course will also help you to understand the structure of education, to understand education at the school education stage, at the school education level, and further higher higher education level. It will it will help you to understand further the detailed discussions that have been made in other groups, just like in the core courses as well as the knowledge generation courses. If I'll go through. The second course that you have to study in the first year that is MES 012 which is a 6 credit course. Course title is Education, Nature and Purposes. Uh, I have said that it is a 6 credit compulsory course and it is included in the second group, group B that is under the core courses. This is studied in the first year and uh, you will find 4 different blocks are there with 17 units. If I will go through uh, different block title and concepts and educational discourses that are being addressed in different blocks just like first block is on concept and nature of education, four units are there in this block. Block 2 that is on knowledge in education, three units are there. Block 3 aims and goals of education, five units are there and block 4 curriculum and its various aspects here also you will find. 5 units. So, accordingly 17 units are there in this course and uh, briefly if I will go through what are the different concepts that are being addressed you will find uh, uh, you see in first block that is concept and nature of education. What are the different uh, agencies of education you have to study here we call that uh, uh, you know uh, family is an agency of education, uh, community is an agency of education, media is an agency of education, school is a formal agency of education. So, you will get a detailed understanding about different how different agencies of education that helps the children that helps the students to understand education and at the same time to understand the societal practices also and how the schooling process and education system uh, prepare the citizens for living their life. It also discusses the life skills. And uh, if I will go through a system of education, you can say the formal education, informal education, non-formal non education, as we consider that education is a lifelong process. There is no end of education. Okay? So, education is a process that starts from the very beginning of the child, from the very beginning of birth of a child and it continues till the death. At every stage, at every situation, at every moment, they, uh, we, uh, we get enough opportunity to learn uh, certain things, to acquire certain knowledge, to get certain experiences and further we use those experiences, we use those knowledge base that we have acquired uh, at different stages of our life from different situations. Okay? So, that equally helps the learners, that equally helps the students to for their proper grooming okay? and it also helps them uh, acquaint with different skills with different competencies further that will help them for living their life. So, that is why uh, from formal system uh, if I will focus upon the formal system that we call as the school colleges and the universities where we take formal admission and uh, uh, we attend the classes if it is a formal system of education and uh, you will find a definite curriculum is there, different syllabi is there and just like uh, uh, you know, in the school education system, if I will particularly give example of a particular class, let class 9th, what content uh, will be taught, uh, content of mathematics will be taught in class 9th, what content of social science will be taught in class 9th, accordingly in science and languages. So, specific syllabi, specific curriculum are developed in each standard in each classes, then accordingly we will find that there will be regular interaction between teacher and students. Okay. So, in formal education system you will find a definite curriculum is there, definite place is there, it may be school, college or the university, every day students are coming, every day teachers are coming and interactions are happening in the classrooms and at the same time 
assessment and evaluations are taking place and you will find that the learners are also engaging themselves in different other activities. It may be co-curricular activities, it may be scholastic or co-scholastic activities. But now uh, uh, as per NCF 2005, we call all activities, all school based practices are scholastic activities. So, in block 1 from this course, you will get a detailed understanding about different types of education, different nature of education. Uh, it may be formal, it may be informal or it may be non-formal. We call non-formal non education which is the alternative system of education. Just like in IGNU or in open schooling, you are taking admission, you are getting well-defined learning materials, quality learning materials. You are going through the learning materials, then accordingly you are attending tutorial sessions as well as the counseling sessions and you are clearing your doubts in the counseling sessions. And at the same time, multiple media are also used in the alternative system of education. In alternative system of education, that is in the non-formal system, system of education, no need to come to school every day. Okay? You, you have received the learning materials, you have to study it and whenever there is the difficulty, there is the system, you can, you can interact with your counselors and you can clear your doubt. Okay? So, uh, accordingly informal system of education, I have already said that education is a continuous process, is a lifelong process. So, that is why at any moment, at any situation, there is the scope to earn certain things, there is the scope to learn, uh, uh, to get certain learning, to get certain experiences. When you are visiting different places, when you are coming contact with the people, when you are coming contact with different situations, different types of people, people from different background, from different knowledge areas, you are also uh, you know, getting new experiences, you are also getting new knowledge and further that also help you a lot for living your life. So, in past blog all such uh, concepts, all such knowledge discourses uh, you will be engaged with and in the second blog that is knowledge in education. As I have already said that uh, whether education is a discipline or not, this question comes to the mind of the learners, this question comes to the minds of the students. So, here we have discussed that what is the very concept of a discipline, to whom we will say that this is a discipline, what type of characteristics, what type of features should be there in a discipline, so that we can say that that is a discipline. Okay? We, uh, we can say that uh, a discipline should have a substantial body of knowledge, a discipline should have uh, a group of dedicated followers who do research in that discipline and they also bring changes in that discipline. In a discipline, a substantial research base should be there for knowledge generation. Okay. So, that is why and a discipline should have an institutional manifestation. A discipline should be practiced in the school, practiced in the colleges, practiced in the universities. The learners, they take admission in a discipline, they pursue a particular course a particular program, it may be a diploma, it may be undergraduate or postgraduate program and they can also do research in that discipline. So, keeping in consideration of all such features, all such characteristics, we can say that uh, surely education is a discipline. Block 3 that helps you to understand the very aims and goals of education. What is the individual aim of education? What is the social aim of education? What is the democratic aim of education? So, uh, you know, uh, uh, basing upon the purpose of our living. Okay? We live as an individual, we live as a uh, social being, we live as a member of the society and we also practice the democratic values in a democratic country. So, that is why accordingly the aim of education are saved, keeping in consideration of the need of the citizen. So, this block will help you to understand the very nature and the very practices, the very concept of the individual aim of education, social aim of education and at the same time the democratic aim of education. And block 4 will help you to understand the very concept of curriculum and its various aspects. Okay. So, what is a core curriculum? How curri what is the very concept of a curriculum? What are the different things that includes in a curriculum? How curriculum uh, is constructed? Okay, what are the different things should be there in the curriculum and how curriculum helps the learner to uh, get knowledge base and at the same time to get varieties of learning experiences, the skills and competencies that are being required in a particular discipline. So, friends, this block will help you to understand different types of curriculum, how, uh, how to uh, design a curriculum, how to develop a concept for designing a curriculum and further how to develop a curriculum 
and how curriculum transact also. Okay. So, what are the methods, what are the techniques that we are supposed to use to transact the curriculum. So, broadly this uh, course will help you to understand education in a broad way uh, including its uh, nature, including its aims and the curriculum practices. Second in MES 013, the course title is Learning, Learner and Development. This is a 6 credit course. This is included in the second group of your program and uh, uh, you will study this course in the first year. Total 5 blocks are there with 19 units uh, in this course. If I will go through the blocks, first block is learning uh, its concept and process, the learners, second block, third block is, is the learning environment, fourth block is organizing learning and fifth block is theories of learning, a critical summary. So, here mostly you will engage with to understand the psychological practices or you can say psychological perspectives to understand education, different learning theories you will find that how learners learn, what are the methods, what are the techniques that are supposed to be used. Okay. And what is the very concept of intelligence, what is the very concept of creativity, what is the very concept of you can say self concept, what is the very concept of aptitude. So, all these things, all these theories that we practice in educational system to teach the students to design our pedagogy and accordingly to teach the students. So, friends this course will help you to understand education from different psychological practices, what learning approaches, what learning theories that we supposed to use. Then next course is MES 014 that is societal context of education. This course will help you to understand uh, education from uh, the community practices or from societal practices. Just like uh, uh, 5 different blocks are there in this course. First block is education and society, its concept and perspectives. Block 2 is political and economic perspectives of education. Block 3 is societal context of education. Block 4 knowledge and education and block 5 is emerging concerns in Indian education. So, mostly this course will help you to understand the society, the changing nature of the society, mobility of the society, stratification of the society, then accordingly how education is linked with associated with for the social development, for the development of the society that means for the development of the individual also. For the next course is MES 015 that is operational dimensions of education. This is included in the first year of this program and you will find 4 different blocks are there with 17 units of this course. Blocks titles are just like educational operations at macro level, different situations, block 2 policy making and implementation, block 3 is educational operations at micro level and block 4 is decision making implementation and evaluation of curriculum transaction. Broadly this course will help you to understand the education system of our country, education system of school education or you can say school education system, the pedagogic practices in schools, higher education system, technical education, professional education and uh, what is the hierarchy of our educational system. So, far its structure is concerned okay. and uh, how we manage education also broadly uh, you know the regulatory bodies and at the same time uh, the macro management as well as the micro management in education. Macro management means the very system of education just like we have the ministry of education, then we have university grants commission, then universities under the universities you will find different colleges okay. and accordingly we have the school education system also. And when I talk about the micro system that means it focuses upon the teaching learning process, how we teach the students uh, in the school, what are the different things that we do in the classroom. So, that is why this course will help you different operational issues, the management of education, the system of education uh, in our country. And the next course is MES 016 that is the educational research. This is a 6 credit course and uh, 5 different blocks are there with 23 units. Uh, the blocks are just like perspective of knowledge, 4 units are there, block 2 different types of studies in educational research, block 3 is research design, block 4 is data analysis and interpretation and block 5 is research reports and applications. This course will help you to understand uh, research to get a detailed understanding about a theoretical construct of conducting understanding research and further this course will also help you to conduct research when you will do dissertation in the second year. 
and in group D specialized areas are there as I have already said that 5 different specialized area um, are there in the second year higher education, distance education, educational management, educational technology and adult education. Here you see in higher education 4 different courses are there higher education its context and linkages. Uh, then instruction in higher education, higher education the psychosocial context, then planning and management of higher education. So, the detailed higher education system will be discussed uh, in this area and second area is distance education to understand the very concept of distance education and how teaching learning process are being conducted in distance education system, detailed discussions are there in this course. And third area is the educational management that includes growth and development of educational management, dimensions of educational management, organizational behavior as well as institutional management. That means from a macro level to a micro level how educational management are there in institutional level and at the same time at the classroom level also. That also uh, you will find uh, such knowledge base from this course. Next area is educational technology. It will help you to understand technology and how it practiced in our schooling process and how it practiced in our higher education system. So, that is why four different courses are there in educational technology and the last area is that is the adult education. Here, uh, you will find a detailed understanding about the very concept of adult education and further different policy planning and implementation of adult education in India, then knowledge management, information dissemination and network in, in adult education system and further extension of education and development in adult education. So, accordingly uh, uh, these are the courses that are being included in the first and second year of your MA education program. In the next session we will be discussing dedicatedly the dissertation course that is MESP001. Thank you.